Google did it. They released the easiest way to build apps with AI ever. Google AI Studio is Google's new vibe coding platform they just released that I think destroys Lovable. It's quick, easy, integrated with Google's entire tech stack, lets you launch apps in literally seconds, and the best part of all, completely free. So there is no reason at all you shouldn't be vibe coding as we speak. I'm gonna show you how it works, how you can deploy a fully working app on the web in seconds, and let you know if this is the final vibe coding platform you'll ever need. Let's get into it. So this was just released moments ago. This is huge. This is Google AI Studio Build. You can access it at ai.studio slash build. Right now it is completely free. I'm gonna give you the full guide on how to use it now, but here is the best reason you need to be using Google AI Studio. It is fully integrated with every single Google AI product that's ever been released. So in one click, you can build an app powered by Nano Banana. So you can build just an image gen app in one click. If you want, you can build a video gen app in one click using Vio. If you want, you can build a, a your own AI chat bot powered by Gemini. And all of this is done without having to manage any sort of API keys, right? That's the advantage of Google building on top of their own tech stack here is you can just start making these incredible apps with Google Search, Google Maps, Video Gen, all that, and you're not juggling API keys, signing up for a hundred different developer accounts anymore. You're building these super powered AI apps in just one click, which you really haven't been able to do with any other vibe coding platform out there. That's the best part. The second best part is they have like a million different playbooks you can use to build apps. So you don't have to come in here with any sort of ideas. You can just go and say, oh, interesting, I want to make a Google Maps app. Or, or I want to make a video gen app or I can even go into the gallery mode and see a whole bunch of examples of apps I can build off of. They've eliminated what I think is the most challenging part of vibe coding now for 99% of people, which is the need to come up with ideas. I think a lot of people just can't come up with ideas for apps. That challenge has been solved because they have hundreds of these cookbooks of ideas of what to build around with. Or even if you want, you can click I'm feeling lucky and it will just start building an app for you and come up with an idea. Okay, let's see what it came up with. Let's create a multimodal dream journal. I want to be able to voice record my own dream immediately upon walk it, waking while it's fresh. The AI should transcribe it, then generate a surrealist image. I didn't even have to come up with an idea. I just click I'm feeling lucky and it's there. There are a ton of other advantages I'm about to show you once we get into actually building the app that, act, that make this probably the easiest way to launch an app ever. But let's start building our first app. Let me show you how the prompting works and how you can start building your first image gen app here. What I want to do is build an image gen app where I can upload the pictures of me and my friends and then the Google Nano Banana will create awesome pictures of us doing fun things out in the world. I've been using Sora the last couple of weeks and all I've been doing with it is just making videos of me and my friends doing funny things. So let's do that but with photos and I'll show you how you can build this and launch this in like minutes. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on Nano Banana Powered App. So this is going to use the Nano Banana Cookbook here where it's now going to easily build me an app that's powered by Nano Banana, which if you don't know is the best image gen model on planet Earth right now. So we, cho we chose the Nano Banana Cookbook and now we just prompt it like we would prompt any other app. And again, this is why I think it's better than Lovable is the integrations here with Google's entire tech stack. Lovable does have some integrations, I think with Superbase and Shopify and a few others. But the fact that you can get all these AI powered features built in without having to manage API keys is a game changer. So if you want to follow along with me, you can do that, but let's prompt this and build our app. So here's the prompt I'm going to use. I want to make an app where I can upload the photos of me and friends and the app creates realistic photos of us doing cool things. It should be able to accept multiple photos I can upload. Each photo will be of an individual person. It will then take all the faces of the people from those individual photos and generate a new image of them doing something creative and fun. I'll put that prompt down below if you just want to follow along with me and copy. Totally up to you. So some other cool things here as well as they have speech to text. So if you just want to talk this in as well, you can do that too. But let's build this out. Let's hit build here and Google will start building it out. And this screen should look familiar to a lot of you. If you use more of the prototyping tools out there, the Lovables, the V0s, the Bolt.new, this is basically the same interface, but with some cool things I'm about to show you in a second that differentiates this from those other platforms. But as you can see, it is building it out and it is going to put in its own API key for a lot of these 
AI product. So we don't have to go hunting around for a nano banana key and a VO key and all these other keys. It manages it for us. And then if we want later, we can put our own API key so we don't hit limit. So as this is building, this does it pretty fast, actually. I am very impressed with the speed of it. Let me quickly go over what are the advantages of Google AI Studio and the differences between AI Studio and Lovable and Bolt and all those. One, free to use. You can't even pay for it. There's no place to put in payments. It is completely free to use. You can go right now, and as long as you have a Google account, which I imagine everyone does, you can just start building and launching and deploying apps, which I'll show you the deployment side in a second. It's integrated with all the Google services, as I showed you. One click deploy to web. This is really cool. I can, in one click, get a link, send it to all my friends, and everyone's using my live app. One click deploy to GitHub, which is really sick. This will make it very easy, so if you start building your app, in Google Studio, you get it on GitHub, then you could start editing with Claude Code in like 10 seconds flat. So that is really, really convenient for editing with Claude Code if you wanna take it to Cursor, Claude Code, Codex, whatever you're using. Tons of the cookbooks available, so you never have to come up with ideas ever again. You can just click, I'm feeling lucky, and apps will just start appearing in front of you. Uh, and it's, the, I, in my opinion, as you'll see in a second, the fastest way to go from zero to one. Uh, on the internet, building apps of Vibe Coding, and it just happens to be for the best price. Let's go back in here, and boom, we have our app. Okay, so let's test it out here. Gemini Fusion Photos. Let's upload friends. So I'm going to upload a couple images of me and my friends. So let me choose a couple of photos to use here. I'm going to choose this excellent image of me at a wedding. Boom, there we go. Let's upload another photo here, and I'm going to choose this image of my friend Sam Altman. Okay, we hit, put it in. We have two images of people. Now let's see how good this is. Okay, so we can describe a scene of what we're going to be in. Uh, let's say that we are exploring the moon together. All right, now let's generate the photo. And now let's see what we do. So this is, again, I showed you every part of this creation process. I literally just put in a couple sentence prompt, build me an image generation app where I can upload photos and it makes us do cool things. I didn't hook up any image generation models or API keys or anything like that. And boom, there's us. It didn't use our faces. So let's, let's try a different prompt here. Let's say uh, hiking up a mountain together. And I'm going to say generate a photo. And let's see what Nano Banana can come up with. But again, this was just one prompt. This was a one-shot prompt. I didn't have to manage the API keys for Nano Banana. I didn't have to hook this up with 100 different things. I didn't need to know code. And here we are. Uh, there's three of us hiking up the mountain. Uh, I wouldn't say this looks like us because uh, neither of us have facial hair. I don't know if neither me or Sam Altman are capable of, uh, have, of growing facial hair. But there's an image of three of us hiking up a mountain. Let's see what this is bigger. Let me check this out. Okay, maybe Nano Banana can use a little work here because this does not look like any of us. They all have facial hair. But the point being is this, is you can build an app that's hooked up to image generation models, any of Google's products, and it just works without having to manage keys. Let's talk about a few of the other amazing features here in Studio Build, which I think this makes spectacularly easy to use. If I click right here, deploy app, it will just deploy this to Google Cloud so I can do create a new project. I can call this photo app. I can create the project and it is going to deploy this app to the Google Cloud so I can, in just a few minutes, have an app live on the web. For Google Cloud, you have to have a credit card plugged in, but I think there's a pretty generous free tier where you can just launch it and it's not gonna cost you any money. So that is really easy. That's just a click to do. You can host it on GitHub. So if I wanna real quick save this to GitHub, I can select my account and this will upload the code to GitHub and I can just pull this down into whatever AI coding tool I'm using, like Claude Code, for instance, like cursor like codex and now I can continue this everywhere else you can share the app so this is probably the quickest way to have other people using your app if you don't want to sign up for Google Cloud and host it on the cloud but you can just click share and then it just gives you a link and you can take this link you can tweet it out I think this is one of the best ways to start an AI business start a prototype like this get the link tweet it out on X put it out on YouTube wherever you are Send it out, get people using it, collect feedback, and start iterating. This is a really good way to start iterating on your app. 
improving it and actually turning your app into a business. If we want to download the app, we can download all the code really easily. This is one of the limitations of a lot of the other prototyping tools out there is they make it fairly difficult to get the code for your app so that you can do whatever you want with it. They want you staying in their ecosystem. So being able to one click download the app is really awesome. And then on top of that, a lot of cool other features here too. If we want to check out the, dev the app on mobile, we can do that. If we want to check out the app on tablet, we can do that. We can do this in any sort of orientation we want. So really easy to test out the app. And then if I want to continue iterating from here, I can go in here and start asking for new features that we can add onto the app. So the question becomes this, when do you use Google AI Studio? Does it replace Claude Code? Does it replace Cursor? Does it replace Lovable? All those here, I'll give you the answer. For me, this is replacing Lovable, right? This is the best way, in my opinion, to get quick prototypes, especially if you're going to be using other Google services, right? Like if you're planning on using Nano Banana, which I think there's a million different opportunities for building image gen apps right now using Nano Banana. If you wanna do video gen apps, that's a huge, huge opportunity at the moment. You can do that. If you wanna build your own chat bot, right? If you're using any of Google's AI services, which are becoming better and better every single day, I'm probably gonna use Google AI Studio to get those up and running because it will know how to use those integrations really well and just get them working, right? Without a lot of technical work. This is also, I think, the fastest way on planet Earth to get feedback from users, right? If you have an idea for an app and you wanna start getting feedback from people, you go into Google AI Studio, you put in your idea, you spin it up, right? You get a link and literally in four minutes, you can go from idea to people using your application and giving you feedback. That is the fastest feedback loop you'll ever have in the history of technology in your life. And that can only be done through Google AI Studio. So this is a great opportunity if you need quick feedback from users. And here's a really important underrated one, right? Is if you just want to have fun and find new ideas. A lot of people, they think, oh, I'm not going to vibe code. I don't have the perfect idea yet and they wait around for the perfect idea and it literally never comes and they never build anything. This is the best way to come up with ideas. The best way to come up with ideas is just to cook, right? It's just to go in there, start playing around, building things out and as you build things out, ideas will flow to you and you'll be able to build them out and iterate and build out better ideas. So this is really good if you just have a little extra time, you wanna play around, experiment with different ideas and see what you come up with. You need to be building that creativity muscle in your head. And then lastly, the last one, just tight on money, right? This is free. You can't get much cheaper than free. It's completely free. You go into any of these other prototyping tools and you hit a paywall in about five seconds. With Google, like they don't even ask you for a credit card here. You just start coding, you just start vibe coding and you have apps in minutes. That's pretty amazing. If you are newer to vibe coding or you just want a better prototyping tool, I think it's going to be very hard to beat Google's AI studio at the moment. They're only going to be adding more features. There's going to be so much more coming to this, especially with what a little birdie tells me with Gemini 3 coming out very soon. This is only going to improve and get better. So check it out. It's free. I think it's cool. Link down below for you to try it out. Start playing around with the different cookbooks and galleries and try things out there. If you learned anything at all, make sure to leave a like. Let me know down in the comments what's the first thing you're going to build and if this replaces like a lovable for you. All I do is make amazing videos about AI, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You'll get the latest rundowns on the most up and coming AI tools the moment they come out. I also live stream randomly, so if you see me live streaming, stop by and say hello. Love you guys, hope you learned something, hope you got a new cool tool to play around with. AI has never been more exciting. See you in the next video.